Customizing and editing backgrounds with Thrive Architect is very intuitive, it's very easy, and I'm gonna walk you through some of the different features and options available with it and show you how to how, actually how to do it. Um, first off, if, you, if you're working on an existing page and you need to add another background section, or if you're starting from scratch and you need to add your first one, you simply go up here to the Add Element button, click on that, and grab the background section. I'm gonna throw one down here at the bottom of the page, right here. And when you do that, you can go back and you can start edi editing it right there. So if you need to add content to it, again, go back to the Add Element one and you can grab your, like grab a heading, and put your heading in there. You can grab, uh, you know, what do I grab? Like, I grab a little button. You can put anything you want to right in there. Super easy to do. But in this case, I already have the uh, sections laid out, so I don't need to do that. Right there. Okay, so we're gonna go through and look at some of these sections because this one has a, a lot of the different um, features I'm already using in it, so it works really well. First, to start working with the background section, you simply just click on that background section and you'll see in the breadcrumbs, you'll see it highlighted and you also should have a window that'll pop up over here with all your options on it. Uh, first ones, you go through, you can set the content maximum width. And right now, you can see this is pretty much laid right next to that. But if I wanna make it full width, I can do it there or I can just click on that and that'll make the section or the background section the full width of the page. You can also adjust the, the height and make it drag out some if you want to. And with this one, it has a plain white background but you can change any of that right here in the background background style. So if I wanna make this more of a grayish color, I could. If you wanna make it red, you can drag it, make it whatever solid color that you want. Uh, so that's a solid color. Next section right here, in this background section again, you click on it, we're using the, the image feature. And there's a background image that I'm using right here that looks Basically, like a kind of chalkboard, um, and that's you can do that. Or you can use any image you want to as a as a background. Just click on there, and if you want to update it, I can replace the image to whatever else I want to use. But we're gonna leave that as it is. Next section right here, you can see if you look closely. I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on on video. Uh, but there is a subtle uh, line to it, like a, a subtle uh, diagonal line. It just add, it gives a little bit of texture. It's nothing that jumps out at you, but um, it adds, as I said, adds a little bit of texture to the to the page. And you can do that right here in the background style. There's the pattern one, and you click on that. And within here, you can select uh, which way you want di diagonal lines to go. Uh, vertical, horizontal, or more of like a, you know, dots or a grid. And you can change the color of those dots or lines right here. It can make it more red, but right here have a very light and subtle gray. And you can also uh, adjust the opacity here. So if you did do, you know, something like that, you can make it more opaque where you can barely, where you can barely see it. But I'm going to keep that one over here with a nice light gray. And uh, once you're things, if you start you know, futzing with stuff and you end up not liking the way it is, just click cancel and it'll bop back out or knock back out and be right where you uh, had it before you went in there. Again, right here, this is another solid color background section. And right here in this background section, you can see there's another pattern here. This is more of the, the uh, pattern, the, the grid one. And once you have all your backgrounds uh, you know, styled the way you want to, you can even drag them around and move move the entire background sections around. So this one right here, if I wanted to move this whole section somewhere else, I can drag it and put it absolutely wherever I want to. That, that quick, it's totally on-demand visual, boom, right there. That easy to do. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get um, get a page looking the way that you want it using this uh, Thrive Architect plugin. Uh, it's a very intuitive, very easy to customize these background sections.
sections.